This video briefly describes the functionality available in the eChecker Web Accessibility Checker. To begin, click on the register link and fill out the registration form to create yourself an account on the system. Once your account is set up, click on the login link to log in. In this case, I'll log in as the administrative user so I can show you all of the functionality, some of which is not available to general users. Once I'm logged in, you can see that there's a Users tab for Managing Users, Guidelines tab for managing the different guidelines installed on this particular system, the Checks tab for managing the accessibility checks, creating and modifying existing checks, the Language tab for managing the languages that are installed on this system, the Translation tab for translating the system into different languages, and the Profile tab for managing basic information about yourself. So to begin, I'll click on the Web Accessibility Checker tab, scroll down a little bit, and open the Options drop-down. So under the Options drop-down, you can see that you can enable the HTML validator to do a validation of the HTML at the same time you do your accessibility review. You can click on Show Source Code to display the source code of the page that's being reviewed at the same time as the review is being done. This is helpful for identifying where problems are occurring in the HTML source code, as well as checking which of the guidelines you want to check against. So you can select them all or just one. In this case, we will do an accessibility evaluation choosing WCAG 2 level AA. This, what this guideline also includes the level A guidelines as well. So we can enter the URL to the page that we want to evaluate. In this case, we're going to evaluate a checker itself. Or if you have a static HTML page, you can upload an HTML file and evaluate it. So once the URL is entered, we click on the Check It button in a few moments. The accessibility review comes back down below. You can see in this case that there are no known problems, but there is one likely problem and one potential problem. Known problems are those that a checker can identify with certainty as being a barrier. So for instance, if it finds an image element without an alt attribute, it will identify that as a known problem. The developer of the page would then need to go into the HTML and correct that problem and then run a checker again until all known problems have been resolved. Under likely problems, you'll notice that there is one likely problem that is yet to be resolved. There are many others that have already been resolved in the interest of speeding this along. I've resolved them all ahead of time. So in this partic particular case, it's asking me, is the link text meaningful when read alone? And this is referring to the HTML that's displayed above, which is for the eChecker logo in the top right corner of the page. So in this case, the link text is actually the alt text associated with the logo, but you can't see that in the HTML that's been displayed because it's been cut off. So we can click on the line number for this issue and jump down to the full HTML source below. And here we can see that the alt attribute is included with the image and it includes the word a checker. So yes, this link text is meaningful. So we go back and we resolve this issue by clicking on the radio button. Link text is meaningful when read alone and then we save that result by scrolling down to the bottom and making that decision. So now you can see that all the known problems and likely problems are resolved. So we'll do the last potential problem. In this case, it's asking, does the title describe the document? We can review the HTML that's displayed immediately above that and confirm that, yes, it does display, or it does describe the document. So we we check the radio button, title describes document, again we scroll down to the bottom and make that decision. 
So now that all known problems, likely problems, and potential problems have been resolved, a checker generates a small piece of HTML that can be copied and pasted into the page that was reviewed. Users can then click on the seal and generate the original review. It's also helpful for administrators who are monitoring websites, ensuring that they stay accessible as content changes or new content is added to a page. So I'll log out for a moment and have a look at how the seal works. It's been added to a page. So in this case, I've added the seal to a checker already. I'm no longer logged in, so this would be a person off uh, the internet who might come across the site, would click on the seal, it would generate the review again, and they can see that this page does indeed conform with WCAG 2 level AA. If the content had changed and, for instance, an image was added without alt text, it would be identified here as a change in from the original evaluation and would need to be fixed again. So I'm going to log back in now as the administrator user and show you some of the other features that are available. Under the Users tab, there's a full list of users who are using this particular system that can be monitored or edited by the administrator. There's a list of guidelines available on this particular system. Um, in this case, we'll take a closer look at uh, WCAG 2 level AA. You can, as our general user, view these guidelines to see what the guidelines are themselves and the accessibility checks that are associated with each guideline. So if you scroll down a little bit, you can see that each of the guidelines in WCAG 2 are listed here, 1.1, 1.2, and so on, all the way down the page. You can find out a little bit more about each of these guide or checks, that is, by clicking on the link with each check. So in this case, we'll take a closer look at the check that all image elements have an alt attribute, perhaps the most common. So if we click on that, a smaller pop-up window opens with some information about this accessibility check. You can see that it's included in all of the guidelines on this particular checker installation, what the requirement is, the error message that gets generated, a short description of the error, the rationale behind the check, as well as information on how to repair the HTML if indeed this check happens to fail. A little further down the page, you can also see that there are examples of HTML files that both fail or pass this particular accessibility check. So if we return to the guidelines page, you can also see that there's an edit button. This particular button is only available to administrators or to other users who have been given permission to edit guidelines. So we'll look at this briefly. If you click on the edit button, you'll see that it's fairly close to the same as the view page, but in this case we're able to edit the content of the guideline. Under the Checks tab is a list of all of the accessibility checks that are available on this eTutor installation. In this case we've got 267 accessibility checks. If you scroll down a little you can see a list of them all. Take a closer look at the image requires alt text check. And we'll use the filter at the top to filter the image element. We know it happens to be a known problem, so we will click that as well and click on filter. And there's the check right there, the first one that comes up. We can select the radio button next to it and click on the edit button to edit this particular check. check. So all of the text that's associated with this check is available here for editing. So there's also a link to edit the function for this check. So this is the actual, where the actual work gets done. This is more for 
programmer types or those with some technical knowledge and expertise with accessibility checking. In this case you can see that the basic function function calls the has attribute function to check to see if alt it has been associated with the image element in the HTML of the page. So in addition to users guidelines and checks, administrators can also manage the, manage the languages that a tech checker is displayed in. In this case we have just English installed, but you could potentially install French or Italian or whatever language you like to provide a checker in other languages. Under the translation tab, you can translate a checker. All of the original English language has been included. So you can click on submit here. We'll just generate them all to take a quick look. And you can see that each of the language items within a checker are available here to be translated into other languages. Finally, under the profile tab is some ba your basic information and you can change it here. Uh, change your name if you like, your, change your password or update your email address. You'll also notice that there is a web service ID. This is primarily for programmers who want to add accessibility checking into their applications. So they can develop an application and use the A-Checker web services to return an accessibility evaluation of web content that's being developed in their application. So for instance, we've added a web service module to the Tiny MCE editor, which is a open source WYSIWYG HTML editor used in many different applications around the internet. It connects directly to a checker to return accessibility reviews to the editor so that anyone editing in one of the many content management systems or learning management systems, blogs, wikis, etc. can have accessibility reviews done while they're editing their content. At any time while in a checker you can click on the handbook link in the top right corner to view the documentation for a particular page. So in this case we're viewing profile. Click on profile would open up the documentation for the profile tab under translation. It would open up the documentation for the translator. Additional information about a checker can also be found on the atutor.ca site. Clicking on the a checker icon in the top right corner will open up this site. You can see that there is a demo available. A public A checker as well is available so that if you don't have a place to install your own version, you can use the public version to do your accessibility checking, as well as additional information on how to use A checker, a list of features, a link to download a copy of A checker that you can install yourself, as well as a community forum for getting help if you have troubles using a checker you can find uh, additional information there or a person to actually talk to under the uh, translation link will be a list of the language packs that are available for a checker as well as other information for reporting bugs and documentation for the system requirements um, of a checker